I saw, oh, and this book got me out of a reading slump. I was like, what's the meaning of that? Because I didn't really know what reading slump was. So if you're like me and you didn't know what reading slump was before you started this video, congratulations. Now you know what reading slump is. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my side of the internet. I am Kama, the eccentric diva, and on this channel, we talk about books, writing, self publishing, sex, and sex education. That's a lot to talk about, but yeah, we find a way to mix and merge these things right here on this channel. If you haven't, now is the time to hit the subscribe button. I don't need to give you a reason. You're watching this video already. It's going to be funny here. Yeah. So just hit the subscribe button and let's go into the video for today. As a writer, I am also a reader. And I would say I am a voracious reader because I read anything and everything if I want to, when I want to, and in different formats. So over time, in my lifetime, I'll say I've read like a lot of books. I won't put a number, but Goodreads just give me the necessary credit. But right now, my Goodreads is showing that I've read how many books have I read so far? This is February, February 5. I think Goodreads says I've read 13 books. Actually, in reality, I've read close to 17, if not 19 books already. And yeah, let's not just go into that, but whatever, whatever, whatever. So, I'm going to be sharing with you. My five tips of how to get out of a reading slump. Not because I am a writer and I want you to read my books, but <laughs> because as a reader, I do feel this way sometimes. Like, I really want to read, but nothing interests me. Even reading a billboard doesn't interest me. Like, I am this type of reader that would even read, you know, when all these pharmaceutical adverts are going on, I read all the tiny tiny stuff they put in there because i just want to know and that's one beautiful thing about readers and that's one beautiful thing about you because i'm sure you are a reader watching this video you are curious you want knowledge you want to have experience and reading especially with fiction books takes you to different places you meet different people and you can gossip about them talk about them i'm sure the way i'm speaking right now you're interested in reading more books i hope you are so here are my five top tips to get you out of reading slumps oh my god i did not explain what reading slumps are reading slump or when people experience reading slump is when you really want to read okay i started explaining it but i didn't go fully into it but yeah when you really want to read but you don't just have the zeal to read and you're like let's borrow it. i want that now no reading anymore so that is basically what a reading slump is you want to read but you just are not in that mood to read or you pick up your book and you just you know start and next thing is like what am I even reading? Who is the main character? Who is like who is speaking? Like, I am lost. I I can't do this. I can't do this. So, like I said, I am here to share with you tips to get out of such places. The first tip I'm going to share with you is to reread your favorite book. Take for instance me. As much as I love reading and even writing. Sometimes I get reading slums and I pick up a book I've read before. So it could be your favorite book. It could be a book you liked and like you enjoyed reading them. So just pick up that book and try reading it. Definitely you feel this burst of excitement. You know, you're meeting your characters once again. You know, it's just like watching an old Christmas movie and it gives you that, you know, yeah, it's possible to fall in love and all. The guy is going to come and meet you at the end of the movie. <laughs> so it's, 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 it's something like that. So for me, like I read books like um, The Velvet and Rabbits. That's my favorite book of all time because to me it describes like the definition and the meaning of love. If you want to know what love means for like how like how I see love, what I believe love to be, then The Velvet and Rabbits is the book for you. But that's my favorite book. And it's a children's book. It's not even up to like 12 20 pages very short read and then books like that makes you feel happy and it makes you want to like try something else and if you don't have a favorite book the second option i'll give you is to ask a book lover for recommendation like there are different communities on different platforms like instagram you have bookstagram tiktok you have booktok um youtube right here you have booktube 
like so many platforms have something like that and then there are book clubs you can join a book club and they give you like oh this month we're going to be reading this book and all that or you can get on goodreads don't read the spoiler reviews that's what i do though. get on goodreads and read like you know people's comment about books and that'll ginger you i mean excites you to want to read a book so yeah ask for recommendations or you can even in this comment section ask me for a book recommendation tell me the genre which interests you and you know maybe the book length and i can look for something and share with you or refer you to a book lover that loves genres like that and you guys can become body readers who knows next up my third point is for you to do the three chapter rule i don't really subscribe to this but a lot of people say it works for them because for me once i pick up a book whether i like it or not i tend to finish it like i hardly ever dnf a book because i'm like yeah just read it already even when i can't sleep like i read one horror book and i'm like never again never again but yeah some people believe in the three chapter rule where you pick up a book if the first three chapters of a book don't interest you drop it move on to another one so it takes like doing doing that style you know that when once you finally settle on the book that you go past the third chapter that book stick with that book i'm ready to the end or you can set a timer for yourself and say okay if i read this book for the next three days and i check the chapter and i'm not past chapter three then something is definitely wrong with this book and i have to move on to the next book except you just don't have the time to read then i will say okay continue reading but do the three do the three chapter rule tell you if if reading is still much of a problem if you've tried all these things i would actually suggest you experiment by finding a new niche a new genre like this december like i mean 2021 december 2021 i read a book that on the normal day i wouldn't have picked up it's a it's a mystery slash should i call it a thriller novel but the title is this rock paper scissors alice finney and it was actually recommended to me by one of my readers because she's like i'd love for you to have all this you know why do it kind of thing in, in my books and i'm like oh okay that's it so just a book you think i should read that would actually help me you know build these characters and make them you know wanting 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 yeah and you know she suggested this book to me and i really i did not enjoy the story but i enjoyed the writing style and like everything the writer was you know showing us but not really showing us then you know the final reveal and all that and i was like oh i even did i, I cheated like i'll confess i went to read goodreads review and like some bloggers reviews because i'm like no you will not put my on but that's just me that's not me so yeah back to it and i also read something like i i used to read um I used to read paranormal and um, vampire stories at one point in my life but then i stopped and just focused on real life people because i can totally relate but that was when i was younger and i really wanted to travel into one fantasy world but i love the new adult kind of fantasy they do these days and so far like my favorite book for january was the invisible life of adilaru by v schwab and that was me experimenting outside like the normal romance books i do read and like there are a lot of books on my tbr that are not romancy like i would normally do and from time to time because before i read before i read um the invisible life of adilaru or what, was it that one of rock paper scissors i was reading the wedding date by jasmine guillory and i was just like <gasps> can you finish this book already like that book was enough to put me in a reading stop i'm not saying it's bad i'm not saying it's bad but to me it's just kept on going and going like we already know where this is going to go it's a romance novel we don't need to extend this more than it should be but if you find me doing that in any of my books just know that it's, it's, it's not me it's just i don't know but yeah that being said um i think i think the last one would be to listen listen to books or try reading 
books in a different format initially i started reading books like paperbacks and next thing you know i'm moving on to ebooks because it's faster next thing you know i'm moving on to audio books so now i have this you know this whole thing now i'm even using kindle reader so i have this thing going on with okay i have a book i'm reading on kindle if i'm getting bored with the one in paperback then i have one i read with my audio then my ebook reader i i hardly read on my ebook reader or my mobile device because now i mainly read on my kindle so i have a paperback i have an audio book and i have like i'm reading three different books at once and i switch to which one i actually prefer i actually like or if i have a deadline i need to meet up with so that being said then there's also a clubhouse room i would suggest you join if you love african books because they mostly read african authors and like other authors but like first first um author pick would be like an african author and that's interact for future interact for future is it interact for future or interact else uh, i think i'll drop the link in the description box below so that being said i hope i have been able to tell you you know new things that you can try to get out of the reading slum and take this from not just me but from readers who have read my books and posted it out there and i'm like oh my gosh just put it like the first time i saw oh and this book got me out of the reading slump i was like what's the meaning of that because i didn't really know what reading slump was so if you're like me and you didn't know what reading slump was before you stumbled on this video congratulations now you know what reading slump is so i was like why would you say that and i've, I've seen like two three people say my book bred them out of a reading slump so that being said, it has been proven that books by Margaret Adetimai or Kamapel would actually get you out of reading slums. Why? Because they are light, the perfect lightness, and they are also thick at the same time. So it's somewhere in the middle. And the characters are interesting. Interesting characters. So what do you say? Do you want to get out of the reading slum by now? No, that was so much. Do you want to get out of your reading slum right now? Pick a book by Noah. <laughs> okay, enough of the joking, but I hope you get out of your reading slum soon and start reading books and reading for fun, not to drag anybody or criticize anybody, but just for entertainment and for fun. Because to me, reasons why I read a book, because I want to be entertained, because I want to travel, and because I, I just want to, you know, relax. So those are the reasons why I read books, like for knowledge entertainment relaxation and you know the experience so thanks a lot for watching this video i hope i have been able to help you and you've also had fun if you did please hit the subscribe button let us be friends see you in the next video happy reading and happy writing ciao bye